Hey everyone, if you ask a challenger player what the best way to climb ranked is, they would say to play really aggressive with a lot of lane pressure. I'm sure nobody knows what that means exactly. It's actually more simple than it seems. It really means that you want to be pushing in lane as much as possible. So in this video, we're going to be looking at different examples of why pushing is so effective from a game with Darshan on Camille vs Irelia. Camille and Irelia are both melee AD bruisers. Irelia has slightly more wave clear and wins extended trades if her passive is stacked up, while Camille wins any burst trades or trades where Irelia passive isn't stacked. Knowing this, Darshan's game plan for this game will be Mission 1, push the wave. Even though Irelia has slightly more wave clear, there is a way Darshan can get a lane push here, and we'll get into that later. Mission 2, look for trades with minion and level advantage. From pushing, Darshan should get a minion advantage or level advantage and can use those to win trades. Mission 3, don't die to ganks. When pushing, it's obvious Darshan will be more susceptible to ganks, so he needs to ward properly and track the jungler to prevent throwing the lane. Alright, the cool thing about this is that Irelia's game plan is the exact same thing, as both champions are really similar. The same would apply to Jax, as they are all champions that rely mainly on auto attacks when trading. Alright, let's get into the gameplay. If you get a lot out of our free videos on YouTube, we are positive you'll love our learning system on our site. You'll get 10 times the videos, access to our Discord, League Pros, and if you don't get better, it's free. You have nothing to lose and ELO to gain, so check us out at skillcap.com. As the lane starts, Darshan has to be thinking about how to start mission 1 since Irelia has slightly more wave clear. Remember, Irelia wins trades when her passive is stacked up. Darshan knows this, so he uses level 1 trading advantage to muscle her off the wave. Jax and Gangplank are two other champions that come to mind that would be great at doing the same thing. Whenever Irelia walks up to auto, Darshan pressures her off while making sure to keep autoing the wave and not miss his own CS. Then Irelia uses her Q to grab these last hits, so Darshan makes sure to harass her a bit for it. Any small trade that he can win will help him with mission 1. Irelia backs away after this, which completes mission 1 for Darshan. Now that mission 1 is done, he collects his CS and spots Zin on this ward in Pixel Brush. And since he can't play aggressive with Zin around, he goes straight into River to drop the ward. Zin tries to gank him, and he's only level 1, so he walks back towards his wave to get level 2, levels up his E, and jumps away. This was actually really good and brings us to the first reason why pushing is so effective. When pushing the lane, it almost always pulls a lot of jungle pressure. Some of you may get frustrated when you're getting ganked a lot, but it's actually a good thing if you don't die to them. If the jungler is in your lane, your teammates can't die to ganks. Also, your jungler gets vision on theirs and can counter gank or counter jungle accordingly. You might be thinking, well my jungler won't do anything with this. Well, in this game, Darshan has Teemo jungle, who was doing Krugs while Zin was ganking him. Teemo could have counter ganked since they win 2v2 really hard, but he just kept farming. Anyways, after that gank, Darshan continues mission 1, focusing on pushing and collecting CS, especially since his E is down. The next wave arrives, and Darshan goes in for a trade, but I really a Lancer stun which stacks her passive and makes it look like she wins this trade super hard. Well this brings us to the next benefit of pushing the lane. When you're pushing, you will always have an experience lead which can give you level advantages. A level advantage is really strong, especially in the early game. So, after that seemingly terrible trade, Darshan kills one minion to get level 3, then goes right back in, forcing Irelia to flash away. They are both pretty low now, but Darshan has a huge minion wave behind him, which is yet another benefit of pushing. He uses the big wave to protect him and let him collect all these minions. As the wave crashes, Darshan could just recall here, but he knows his limits and pokes Irelia under tower, using Camille passive to tank the tower shot. Then he does it again, just trying to pressure Irelia's CS. After Irelia clears the wave, she starts to recall, so Darshan does as well. This brings us to another extremely nice benefit to pushing the lane. It makes it so you can decide what to do with your teleport. For example, look at the wave state in this game. The wave is even on Irelia's side of the lane. The even minion rule applies here, which means if the waves are even, whichever side of the lane it is on, it'll slow push the opposite way. So Irelia is forced to TP here or she'll miss a ton of CS, while Darshan will come back to collect a massive wave. So theoretically, Darshan could save his TP if he wanted to, but since he blew Irelia's flash earlier, he teleports back to lane. To clarify what that means, let's jump into the sandbox. Let's say Darshan doesn't teleport back to lane. Irelia will push these two waves into the tower and Darshan will get back to lane right before it crashes or as it's crashing. Darshan can't fight Irelia in both scenarios because in the first one, Irelia will have a massive wave stacked up to help her win the 1v1 
and the second one, Darshan doesn't want to try to fight her when 10 plus minions will be dying to the tower. So by TPing back to lane, he doesn't give Irelia any room to breathe. Anyways, after he TPs back, he's going to make a really smart play. If we look at the minions, they are even, but Irelia's next wave is about to stack up to give her a big wave. Fighting in those are dangerous, but Darshan actually has around 10 seconds before all of the minions actually stack up. Also, remember that Irelia only wins trades with her passive stacked. So Darshan starts fighting her right away, using the second part of his Q that gives true damage to go through Irelia's W and saves his E this whole time waiting for Irelia to Q away to a minion. When she does, he reinitiates with his E and flashes to finish her off. Remember that dying when TP is up is not the worst thing in the world, but dying like this right after using TP is a lane ender. Darshan can let the wave push in now, denying Irelia at least two whole waves. Alright, let's do a quick recap. In this video, we focused on why pushing is so effective when trying to climb. Darshan started pushing early, which pulled Zin's out top, but since he didn't die, it wastes his time and gives information to the rest of his team. After that, he kept pushing the lane and got in a fight with Irelia. It seemed like he lost the trade hard, but he hit level 3 and went in right away, forcing Irelia to blow her flash, which brought us to another benefit of pushing, level advantages. Eventually, they both had to recall, but Darshan had the option to save his TP since he was the one pushing the lane, but ultimately decided to TP back to keep pressuring Irelia since she blew flash. He TP'd back and went in right away, taking advantage of the 5 second window before the next wave arrives and Irelia not having her passive. He played the 1v1 very well, saving E for when she tried to escape, and finished her off with Flash to close the lane out. Alright, that's gonna be it for this one, thanks for watching.